Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Night Shadow Industries. Today I'm actually doing uh, my first ever in-person video. Normally I do tribute videos as you guys know. Um, today, my in-person video uh, is actually going to be a review. Uh, what the review is, I got it for a Christmas present. It is a Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker lightsaber, not Return of the Jedi, A New Hope. So this one is from A New Hope. As you guys can see. Um, <clears throat> overall, so overall, I actually really love this lightsaber. Um, I've actually held the Kylo Ren. A lot of people have actually had complaints about this saying that this main chassis here was plastic. I've looked it over, I've even, I've had a look at it. It is, it is metal. Uh, it's just a very, uh, it's just aluminium, so it's, uh, it is metal, uh, it's just, it's, it's not really metal, it's more aluminium, so it's, it's quite light, it's quite, it's quite easy to move, uh, the blade is actually quite long, I don't even know if I can get it all in one shot, oh yeah, yeah, I can get it in one shot, as you guys can see, it's actually a not bad blade, uh, for this sort of lightsaber, um, this is the black series one, so these blades do not come out because there is a strand of LEDs that run completely up the blade, which gives it a continuous blue, like a continuous uh, light. Though with the LEDs, you do get the, uh, the little darker uh, nubs, sort of slits in between. Um, in videos and photos, it looks amazing. It looks just like a lightsaber should. So it looks, you know, you've got it's almost the white middle, the blue radiating on the outside. So you can tell very much that it's very uh, Star Warsy. Um, from from me, per, from my personal uh, like my personal uh, issues with it are um, quite. They're actually quite minor. It's actually to do with. Um, with the actual one I got. Uh, the unfortunate part was right here, you will not be able to see it on this sort of camera. Um, but right here, there's actually a couple scratches and right on this black, see the black line? You guys can see right there, there's actually on the edge a uh, silver strip, which looks like the, uh, the paint has rubbed off. I'm probably just gonna use some of my uh, Model Masters paint or something in order to just color that back into black, just because I would like it to look nicer, I guess. Um, all in all, a beautiful Graflex clamp, just like in the movie. The extractor calculator uh, bubbles, they're all exactly the same. Uh, same button from it, uh, not the red one, because again, this is A New Hope and not Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the same can be said about the grips, there's no slit in the middle with the, uh, uh, the uh, button, whatever. Uh, it does have a, uh, a D-ring, even though, in my personal opinion, it doesn't really... I mean, yes, this is meant to... it's, you know, it's, it's good to look like the one from the film, but again, having that D-ring being able to move, I would have been okay if it just kind of sat like that, like permanent. Mostly because, considering that this blade is permanently in, there is actually no point on having that there because you cannot really attach it to your belt and let that kind of drag along. <laughs> um, all in all, I do find it to be a beautiful, beautiful blade. Uh, everything on it, to me, looks exact. Again, uh, these aren't, the grips aren't actually uh, rubber, like uh, what they're meant to be. Uh, so they're not meant, they're meant to be like uh, windscreen wiper blades that were just cut down uh, These ones aren't. Uh, these ones are just ordinary plastic that are, they have attached on and put a, uh, they basically put some sort of material over the top. They've sprayed on some sort of material that makes it feel like rubber. So I don't have too much of a problem with it. Um, all in all, it's an absolutely amazing uh, lightsaber. I do adore it. Um, um, this one though, uh, this one's very A New Hope. It's got the classic ignition sound, the classic uh, turn off. Um, the classic, uh, the light, we've actually got the light blue. 
if we're gonna go from if we're gonna think about uh, ultra savers, I would say it's it's very reminiscent to um, not Guardian but Arctic Blue. So, um, but hang on, I will get to the proper stuff. So I'm just gonna turn off the light. It's actually quite uh, dark in here, but as you guys will find out, it's quite bright with this. Um, as you guys can hear. So it's actually got a couple of good uh, clashes. Nice good hum. As you guys can see on the camera, this looks very, actually to me it looks like a proper lightsaber. Like if you hold it like this, you can actually, it, you can see the white in the middle, light on the outside. It looks like a, uh, like a lightsaber. It looks like one, you can hold it. Uh, what I love too is that right here, they've kept, they've kept it like, like the original, like the A New Hope version, where there actually is a slit there, not as in uh, Anakin's version, where that was just all one piece here. So it's absolutely amazing. As you guys can hear, it's actually quite loud. So, flick on the light. As you guys can see, even on camera, uh, this is still quite bright. Like, there's not much of a problem here. Um, but as you guys can see, I'm gonna flip it down. So right here, you've got not bad ventilation, so it's actually pretty good. It takes um, three AA batteries, so it's actually not too bad for um, power. And I've, I think it, with con with constant use, because I was um, I was actually practicing with it for quite a. I was actually swinging it around, acting all stupid with it. Um, with constant use, I think it lasted me about I think three weeks with three weeks no wouldn't have been three weeks it was it was a while though it lasted a fair long while with very cheap batteries so it's not a major problem so uh the activation switch is um very much like a new hope not like empire uh, not like um force awakens force awakens it was activated by that so you press that it would activate um here it's a lot like a new hope where it was actually this so flip just flick that down and uh, the way I say that it activated here on A New Hope, uh, because I just, again, most people did actually originally, to me, I originally thought that was the activation because when Luke held it when he first got it, he actually activated it, swung it around, and then shut it off while holding that. So he had his thumb on that. So to me, I always thought that that was his activation button until we recently what uh, in both Clone Wars and in um, uh, in Force Awakens find out that it's actually this button. Um, if you go uh, just rewatch, there's an episode in Clone Wars where uh, Anakin entrusts Padme with his lightsaber. If you ever notice it, uh, she actually holds it, presses that button, and it activates. So that's what made me think about it. Um, what came with this lightsaber was uh, just a random uh, thing that said, you know, this is what this uh, comes with, yada yada, uh, this is how you put in the batteries, yada yada yada. It also came with this. I don't really use it because there's not really much point to it with me, uh, mostly because I'm using it or I've placed it somewhere carefully in my room, only because I don't really have space for it at the moment. So I plan on making some space later on, but until then I can't. Um, so you can either sit it like that, or screw it in, and sit it like that. It's not really much of a thing. But uh, yes, uh, all in all, that is my review on the uh, Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker lightsaber from A New Hope. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you guys like and subscribe, because again, I do post up. I try my best to post up as many videos as I can. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day.